In the fall of 2020, Natalie and I went on a great American road trip down Route 66. We left St. Louis with our aims on Big Bear, California. This wasn't the first time we made this trip, but it would be the first time we were able to stop along the way. One of the many places that we wanted to go on this trip was the Gila Cliff Dwellings. They were, however, quite a bit out of our way and required us to veer south off of Route 66 once hitting Albuquerque. Pro tip though, it is definitely worth it. We just finished up at the Cadillac Ranch in Amarillo, Texas and started heading towards the dwellings. It was a 10 hour drive and we got through eight of them before calling it a night. We woke up to find that we had parked the van right next to a huge beautiful lake. After coffee and a few minutes of taking in the view, we headed out on the last two hours of our drive to the dwellings. You have to go up and down a mountain, and on our down, we stopped for a little snack. There's a small little park alongside this tiny little creek that provided a nice backdrop for a peanut butter and jelly and a cup of coffee. The drive was through some absolutely beautiful terrain many places to stop and take in along the way. Now it's important to note that the cliff dwellings are at the end of a road that takes about one and a half hours to drive down one way. But after a while, we finally made it. We parked the van and started heading on a short hike through the forest towards the dwellings. There were some really cool bridges, lots of them actually, and then some stairs and we got our first glimpse of the dwellings. They were literally built into caves in the side of the rock walls and looked almost ominous, but also pretty obvious. We made our way up the final stairs and found ourselves at the entrance. Now the Gila Cliff dwellings have a bit of a mystery to them. According to the National Park Service, for thousands of years, groups of nomadic people used the caves of the Gila River as temporary shelter. And then, in the late 1200s, people of the Mogollon culture decided it would be a good place to call home. The Mogollons are a group of Native American peoples from the southwest United States of America and northwest Mexico, and their origins remain a matter of speculation. They took the time to build 46 rooms, crafted pottery, and raised children in the cliff dwellings for about 20 years. But that also might not be exactly true. Some sources of information say that 10 to 15 families lived there full time, while other sources say the cliff dwellings were actually more like a vacation home and weren't a full time living space at all. And then, after all that effort and building, and hanging out, and potentially living there, but maybe just vacationing there, they left. And no one knows why. Some say that there may have been a flood, or a drought, or they just left for some other reason, but nonetheless, the Mogollon moved on, leaving the walls for us as a glimpse into the past. And then to continue the mysteriousness, the Mogollon culture ended in 15th century also for reasons unknown. The Gila Cliff Dwellings is one of many Mogollon archaeological sites with others having been found in Texas and at the Hueco Tanks Historic Site. Maybe the mystery is created on purpose, and maybe we simply don't know all the whys behind this place, but it is definitely a cool place to see. After hanging out and thoroughly exploring the dwellings, we made our way back to the van and started heading back down the long road we came in on to get back to Route 66 with our aims on Flagstaff, Arizona. Two things of consequence happened on the drive between the dwellings and Flagstaff. The first was we saw a copper mine for the first time. A literal small mountain was in ruin due to the mine and the entire small town around it was in absolute disrepair. I've always heard that copper mines are terrible things, but having finally seen one in real life solidified my hatred. The second, though, was something that showed us there was still hope. An absolute beautiful sunset that took us into the night 